What's going on guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're watching this, that means we're going to look at a car. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'd post this if I didn't buy it, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to look at a car for the channel. Um, you guys are not gonna have any idea what it is, um, if I even get it. But exciting day, we are going to look at it right now. It's here in Grand Rapids, it's hot. Thankfully, it's in an indoor showroom, so we'll be there in a little bit. Never been here, but I think we're getting close. That's what it's telling me. Getting really excited. Hoping, hoping that this car is what I think it is. I've never actually looked at one in person so uh but they have like 97 pictures on this car online so yes i am i'm going to two minutes away here we go it's like back in this business loop it's weird destination is ahead on the right on the right there it is i see it now you have arrived at your destination the right. There we go. Grand Rapids Auto Gallery. Oh. All right, so we just got out of there. Just waiting on uh, some final numbers and everything. But, uh, man, the car is sweet. Just sitting in it. Uh, waiting on numbers before I drive it. Uh, it's, it's like a consignment um, dealership. But, yeah. What would you think? Huh? What'd you think? About what? The car. Okay. Yeah? You like it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys obviously don't know what it is yet. And like I said, I'm waiting on numbers, so we'll see. There you have it guys, there it is. This is what I picked up. This is the new car for the channel. Um, and it's gonna be a great Michigan summer car here. Uh, this is the 2001 BMW Z3 2.5i. Um, this thing looks small, but it's significantly heavy, which is funny for a little roadster, but it is 2,900 pounds. Um, and I wasn't sure how fast it really would be with this drivetrain. Uh, so it's got the 2.5 liter inline six. This is the M54 motor. At the crank, it's 184 horsepower. So I'm thinking, okay, 3,000 pounds, 184 horsepower, five speed manual. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, depending on the gearing. Um, sinks quick, sinks quick. Um, but I got it at a, a really sweet consignment place here in Grand Rapids. Um, Grand Rapids Auto Gallery. I love this car. Uh, yeah, let's go over the car first. So it's got 16 inch stock wheels um, and it is a 20 year old car. So it's, it's kind of it's rough. 
um, but let's check it out in some closer detail. All right, so inside it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's, I think it's all stock. I think everything on this car is stock, So, but it has the M steering wheel and uh, the M shifter knob. I'm not sure, because this is not the M Roadster. Um, to my knowledge, this is just the base coupe, or base convertible Roadster. Um, but, enough being said on that, 85,000 miles on this bad boy. It's got the original floor mats, seats are in good condition. Um, this little center console I gotta replace, it's kinda broken. Um, missing a blank tab right there. So, I'll get one of those. Another thing, the seat belt holder here is uh, broken. You know, it's 20 year old plastic, it's what's gonna happen. But it does have this uh, nice tonneau cover over the back to cover the ugliness of the convertible top. Uh, it does not, did not come with a key fob. I know this thing has a key fob. I just gotta figure out how to get one in here and uh, program it. So, as far as it looks, I love this thing. It's got the Roadster style. It's got the pretty long hood. I love the vent here. Um, I really wanted white, but um, found silver at the right price. I really, really, really dig this one. Dig the looks. Uh, halo headlights, but the halos in these headlights here do not work. That might be something in the future. Um, yeah, anyway, we're not talking about that right now. Going over the car. Um, the tires are all in really good shape. These are 225-50-16s. Um, so these are going to be just fine for now. Um, I'm not sure if I would go any higher than a 17 on this car just because of the look. And I, I like the, the meat on the tire. I like the Roadster look. I think that helps with this car quite a bit. So 2001, you know, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's got a stereo system in it stock from the factory, but uh, it's uh, got blown speakers all through it and everything. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's got some issues. So let's, let's move on to the issues, um, which is expected for the price point that I paid for this car. Um, so we went over the seat belt. The tray here, um, the radio, you know, it just plays CDs and it's an FM player. You can't even play MP3s in it, so that's gonna go. I got blown speakers over here, but it looks like there's, I gotta find all the speakers. To be honest with you, I think we got one down there. We got tweeters up here. We got little, little ones behind the seat and then we have a little tiny sub here in the middle. Um, that's honestly probably gonna be the first project on this thing is getting the radio satisfactory. Um, down the line, I envision a flip up screen with navigation and everything, but right now, I just wanna get some, a Bluetooth radio in there and speakers replaced. All right, let's do a one-handed hood pop. And there she is. So, This is the M54, um, 2.5 liter, inline six, 184 horsepower. Can't, can't remember the torque right now. I'll look it up and put it right here on the screen. Uh, not a whole lot of room. You know, I got, I got some plans for this car. I'll uh, probably go over them in another video, but not a whole lot of room under the hood here to work with. Um, and when I talk about future plans, don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put anything other than BMW in here. But, um, yeah. So I am very, very impressed with my one, one day owning this car with this engine. I, I really can't believe how peppy it really is. Uh, and there's not a lot of people out there. A lot of people do swaps in these BMWs. Not these ones, uh, three series that, I mean, drift these cars and everything. 
and I'm not sure why they take this motor out I don't know enlighten me but there's not a lot of BMW content out there um, that just stays BMW I know Cody Applin his channel is straight up all BMW uh, I've done a lot of research already on his channel for stuff that I want to do or maybe want to do um, but if you're a BMW fan and you don't know him go check out his channel um, anyway so this is it this is it guys this is it so what do you guys think uh, at first I didn't really like it at the thing but now I don't know why I'm just starting to like it it's looking cool <laughs> but um I think it's gonna look cooler when you do stuff to it uh, yeah we'll take care of that the only part I don't like about it is um the thing that goes up like the roof it looks weird yeah. Yeah, so, yeah? Is that the thing's on the side. That's the thing. Those are awesome. No, I She's don't talking about that. these vents. Oh, the Love them. Oh, I can't sit down there. <laughs> Alright, ah. so he, he says, he says, yeah, convertible yeah, top. Um, he's not a fan of the convertible yeah. top when it's up. Well, obviously. I mean, no. there isn't, I don't think, a, a sharp car out there when the convertible top's up. So, anyway, there she is. A um, couple things I forgot. There's a little bit of an alignment issue here on the back bumper where something happened at one point. They didn't get it just right. So this is sticking out a little bit here and then uh, there's a little gap in the front bumper as well. But that's easily taken care of. Um, but anyway. <laughs> There it is, guys. Um, hopefully a lot of content to come on this guy. Um, this is gonna be my, I don't know, my fun little project for a while. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut it up or anything like that. I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, because obviously someday I wanna resell it, maybe. Um, but, but it needs some stuff. I'll go over that in another video. But anyway, hopefully you guys are excited about this as I am, I know most of you join my channel for F-150 content, and that's not gonna stop. Um, don't think that's gonna go away. Um, but hopefully you enjoy this as much. Um, I don't know, I am excited, guys. I'm excited, so. Don't, don't, don't honk the horn. It does. All right, so anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys are doing wonders for me uh, making my dream come true in my hobby time even though I still work full-time third shift uh, and have kids and a family right um, anyway okay so till we meet again guys later bye